Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Good morning everybody. Today is Wednesday and I have a lot going on so I figured I'd bring the camera with me. I'm just sitting outside for a second listening to the birds drinking my first glass of water before I eat anything and Paul is kind of waking up. It's 7.30 now. I'm so happy he's gotten up early. The last like two or three days he's woken up at like 9, 9.30, which you think would be awesome, which it is because then I get all this stuff done in the morning, but then he was not napping, which is just intense for me, for mom. So I'm hoping that since he got up normal time, normal-ish, still he usually wakes up about 7, so it's 45 minutes later than usual. I'm hoping we do a nap today. Plus today is Wednesday, so it's my group therapy and it's during nap time, so I really hope he naps. If he doesn't, it's not the end of the world. But this weekend, I have like so much stuff going on. I got up, put some laundry in, I did my planner. Today is Wednesday, which I hate doing in my planner because it hits that spiral thing. I know, right-handed person problems, left-handed people deal with that all the time, but it's like my least favorite day to plan. <laughs> so I like to do that before Paul's get, Paul gets up because if he sees my planner, he wants to touch it and stuff, so it just goes by faster. So I did that already. Last night I put a Target order in, so I have a Target pickup to do today. I'm hoping to do that right after breakfast. So we'll eat breakfast, run and go do Target, grab that, be able to come home, put it away, and then it should be around nap time. And this weekend I'm really excited. We're having house guests for the first time since, I think my sisters were the last people here in November, maybe? Everybody we know is slowly getting vaccinated, which is amazing. My parents are fully vaccinated. Matt's fully vaccinated. I'm one shot in and I get my other shot in a few weeks. Oh my God, squirrel, my hummingbirds are back. I put out my hummingbird feeders April 1st and um, I usually have about five of them. One of them was just over there, a little female. Sorry, <laughs> I get really excited when they come. That's not a hummingbird. <laughs> Some other birds going crazy. Anyway, what was I saying? My parents are coming. So my parents are gonna be here Thursday through Sunday. Matt is still working, so we have to go on some kind of adventure on Friday, I guess. Saturday is going to be rainy, but my plan is they'll probably get here later Thursday, so we won't really do much on Thursday. Friday, I'd love to go to the farm and get some more eggs, so that's kind of on the outskirts of town, and then we can go into town and have lunch and come back. Saturday, I got my gardening bug from my dad. My dad loves to garden. I love to garden, so I'm hoping that I can, I mean, I don't really have to con him into helping me garden, but... There's two big flower gardens in the front that we want to move around. The soil is like dipping in front of the house, so we need to like regrade that, which means all the plants need to come out. <laughs> so, which is actually works out well because I want to rearrange them. Some plants, I just don't like the way they were. They're actually all the plants that when we bought this house, it was vacant for a few years. Somebody bought it and flipped it, and the landscaping must have looked awful because they removed all of it and just plunked bushes in. And they put things that just don't make sense for where they are, like full sun bushes in full shade spots, things like that. So I've been moving stuff around. I'm trying to work with the shrubs and plants that I have because I don't want to waste anything. So I need to play musical chairs with my plants and I bought on Amazon. I'll find the link and put it below. I am obsessed with Proven Winners Super Tunias. They are amazing. They have so many flowers. The plants are so aggressive. They grow so big. You don't really have to do much to them. They're like my favorite petunia or favorite really annual in the summer and my favorite color is not pink but the my favorite supertunia plant is it's called bubblegum pink it must be like the very first supertunia that they started you know messing genetically wise it does the best it gets the biggest it has the most flowers it performs the best it looks amazing I've got them in years past it's very hard to find that color so I went on their website and I tried to find a grower near me that has that bubblegum pink and I couldn't find one. So I try not to order things online if I can find it locally. So I couldn't. So I went on 
Amazon just to see if they have, because they have some proven winners in their proven winner store. That's where I got my hydrangea from, prime free shipping. But they had eight packs for $30, which sounds insane. But if you go on the proven winners website, they're like $8 per. So it was a really good price. It did have like $10 shipping, stuff like that. So I ordered two flats of those and that's all I'm doing for annuals this year. And they're actually coming today. I'm not gonna be able to plant them today, so I need to keep them alive. But I'm so excited that they're coming and curious to see what they look like. But anyway, I'm getting off track. I'm hoping to move around plants with my dad here. There's some hostas that I don't really care for. I'm hoping he wants to take that. There's a phlox over here that I'm not a super duper fan of and the deer are obsessed with it and just eat all the flowers off every time. It's very frustrating. So my dad is gonna take him and I think I offered him some hostas. I can't remember if he said he wanted some. Oh, and he said he wanted some cannibals. So I'm gonna dig up some cannas because Lord knows I have enough of those. And then we need more mulch. I don't think we're gonna get it this weekend, possibly next weekend. We need one more trailer of mulch and then I think all the gardens are done. And then I'm gonna plant my super tunias after the mulch is in. It's just easier to kind of plunk them in with the mulch already there kind of thing. All over the place this morning. <laughs> Today is Wednesday. My parents are coming tomorrow. I need to do a couple things. The guest room needs to be tidied. I'm gonna change the sheets just because they've been sitting there since November and they probably just need to be freshened up. So I need to do the sheets. I need to clean the guest bathroom, which is really Paul's bathroom, which means Paul also needs a bath tonight so that I can get all his bath toys out of there. And then for dinner, I was gonna take out last night a freezer meal to make my life easy, and I did not. So now I have to figure out something for dinner. So I'm not there yet. But for the Target pickup, there's some stuff that I need to prep today for when my parents are here. And I'm probably gonna bake some breakfast thingies. I just haven't decided what, so let's go get Paul. <laughs> Okay, so we are back from Target. Here is everything that I got. So I spent $109.84. I got a ton of discounts, as you can see. I usually shall shop. Sale shop anyway. First time this has ever happened, I have two items that were missing. So I went on their website and it looks like after 24 hours I can report them as missing and I'm assuming they just give you a credit. It's really not that big of a deal. I got two things of sparkling water Aha, uh -huh. I've never tried it before. These are the items that I got in sale and I'm actually missing one. So I got lime watermelon and the blueberry pomegranate and there was a strawberry something and that's the one I'm missing. And that's just for me and Matt, so it's not a big deal. My mom is an avid diet soda drinker. I can never remember if it's Diet Pepsi or Diet Coke. I got Diet Pepsi or I took a wild guess. We'll see if that's the right one. The cans were not on sale and super expensive. So I just got these two liter bottles. I hope three is enough to get her through the weekend. <laughs> if not, we're running into town Friday and we can always get some more. So speaking of family being here, this is what I'm doing for breakfast. So I have breakfast on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'll probably do one of those a hot breakfast, but what I do for the other ones is I just put a mess of stuff out. So I have these Little Bagels by Thomas, and I'll put my toaster out. I got a thing of whipped spreadable cream cheese. This is the kind that Paul likes. Well, I like to give Paul, so we got some more of that. I also got some donuts. These were double chocolate, and there was a really good Target coupon for that one. So double chocolate, just regular chocolate frosted, and then powdered donuts. I'll just put these all out, and these will sit out. Oh, I almost forgot. I also got some multi-grain 
English muffins if anybody wanted that with cream cheese, butter, and or jelly. I have those, so that's breakfast. Then for lunch, what I usually do is get a big French bread, split it open, put my deli meat in it. Target did not have any French bread, so what I decided to do was to get these Hawaiian rolls, like slider size. So I'm going to fill all of these with some Black Forest ham, turkey, and then I just got some cheddar cheese and cut them up into pieces, put those in the fridge, and then when we want lunch, those are ready to go. Everybody can just put their mayonnaise and or mustard on them, so that's an easy lunch. Then with family coming, make my life easy, I use cloth napkins for us, but it's just it's too much laundry. So I got some of the Everspring, I think this is a Target brand, of recycled disposable napkins. What fell down here is, um, I have been getting migraines lately, so I got some Excedrin migraine. My older sister, Sue, says swears by this stuff, so I'm gonna give it a try. Usually I take absolutely nothing and just suffer through, so we shall see. I got some just regular white sugar. This is actually for my hummingbird food, so I'm not using my expensive organic cane sugar, so I got that. That was on sale, I think, $1.99. Uh, Matt requested these. He actually requested the Reese's Bigger Cups, but there was a Target Circle deal on this size bag these new it looks like hershey's is coming out with these shareable bags a lot of candy was in those they didn't have the big cups just the little ones i got two of these for paul he loves these freeze-dried yogurt things but they did not have the other ones so they canceled it so i just got this one but that's okay i'm getting some more in a thrive order soon that should hold them off until then then just some other things that were on sale their cheese had a really good coupon for these block things and then some of the grated. So I just got another block for us. And then I got some more of the sandwich cheese for us as well. <laughs> Paul's having a blast over here. <laughs> you play with your truck? Yeah. You okay, Casey. Okay. Okay, back to this, almost done. <laughs> Butter was on sale. I think this was $1.99. This is basically just for baking. I'll put this in the freezer. I got two things of Oreos, one for just snacking, and the other one I got for some recipes that are coming up. With my lovely migraines that I've been getting, I get a really sour stomach, and when I have a bad stomach, I just like to have a peppermint. So these are just the, you know, super cheapo mints. So basically I just got those for when I have a sour stomach. I also got some Frito scoops, and I swear I got a big bag of just wavy Lay's for sandwiches this weekend. And it was not in my order, but I also looked and it was not on my receipt. So I must have not actually put that in my cart. So fail on my part. But this is a lot of chips, so that might be plenty. I do have tortilla chips as well and like other snacks, Cheez-Its and pretzels and whatnot to make it through the weekend, so that's fine. And then when people come over, I do like to get just some kind of snacky snack candy. So I got these Hershey's miniatures. I feel like these are always a win. This was not on sale. This beast was like 10 bucks, Ugh. but. Now I get to put all this away. We're gonna have lunch. Paul's gonna take a nice long nap and I'm gonna have therapy and get into other shenanigans. Where's your hair? Good job. Where's your nose? Good job. Where's your tongue? Let me see, I can't see. Where, there's your tongue. Where's your belly? Where's your hands? Where's your tootsies? <laughs> Good job, buddy. Okay, so a few hours later, I just finished with therapy. That went really well. Little munchkin here slept for two and a half hours, which is awesome considering the last two days he has not napped for me at all. He's having a little snack here. I'm just kind of picking up. I don't think I'm gonna do the sandwiches today because why not add some more pressure on myself tomorrow? My parents are coming tomorrow, but probably later in the day. I don't expect them for lunch. So tomorrow I'm gonna do baked goods. I have options. So I have this Foodster warm apple spice coffee cake mix that I got quite a ways back that I could use. I also found a really weird recipe for banana Oreo crumb muffins. It sounds really odd. I'm intrigued. It was on the Oreo website. I was just trolling through stuff 
randomly one evening in bed. So I found that recipe. I might make that tomorrow. That's one of the things the Oreos were for. I'm gonna do that tomorrow just so that they're a little fresher. So I was thinking I might do the sandwiches tomorrow. Might, might not. I did take out a freezer meal for dinner. I took out my freezer easy chicken enchiladas. I have chicken stock in the fridge that was from last week that I really want to use. So I'm going to make some white rice with that. And then I don't know what we're going to do for a veggie. What do you want, Paul? He doesn't know. He wouldn't eat a vegetable anyway. We might just do something like salad. I'm thinking maybe, but I still have all of this mess to put away and I'm doing a crazy amount of laundry. Okay. So put all this away and upstairs the guest room. I need to unearth it because guest rooms and dining room tables become hot spots for just putting stuff. And I put my stuff up there. So I need to put that away and do sheets. I just put my diapers in and they take literally like two hours cause they're on like pre-soak, extra rinse, steam cycle, they take forever. So I don't know if I'll actually get the sheets in the wash tonight, maybe. But after we're done with snack time, we're gonna go outside and brave the wind and get like the garbage cans and the mail and my super tunias came. So I can't wait to show you what those look like. Life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down